Right guys, I think I've bought or found another ninja scroll. I'm gonna tell you all about it. And if you wanna help me deal with this ninja scroll, please wait till the end of the video. So, okay, I don't know if it's fake. I don't know if it's modern. I don't know if it's original. It was just up for sale. I had a limited time to bid on it. So I just bid on it, it cost me a lot of money. In the end, it's cost me 700 pounds. I'll try and work out what that is in dollars. So, um, and it's called Igaryu. Uh, ninjutsu Gokui no let me just check it um, Gokui Kaiden no Maki so basically secrets teachings etc of ninjutsu from Iga, Iga Ryu now what I'll do is I'll put some images on the screen for you but just so but there's three options or there's a few options one is it's an original scroll probably late 1800s by the look of it but it's a real ninja scroll the other is that it's um, a more modern 1900s um, transcription of an older scroll that's now missing. But, um, you know, it's just transcribed later on because the way the wood looks and the way some of the marks of the pens look. Or the other option is it was totally made up and sold to make money on eBay. However, the third option, it's a long scroll. It's very, very long. It's thin as anything and very long. So they've gone to a lot of trouble to make a thousand dollars. Do you know what I mean? So... But it does look to me like the paper is modern paper there. And it, but by modern, I mean like 1900s modern. Um, possibly it's got like a 1950s feel to it. So I'm guessing that somebody somewhere has transcribed an older scroll. And, you know, on a, on a 1950s, 20s, 1980s, you know, whatever year in the 1900s onto this. Because you can see, it looks quite modern there. But, um, I'm, right now, I'm having people look at the scroll. But the content seem to be okay, but some some things look a little bit too good. Um, you've got Kuji in there, we've got Spears in there, we've got like a chart with body points on. So, um... I have literally got this a couple of hours ago. I've just photographed it. I'm doing this video. I'm going to put it into safe storage and um, basically start having it looked at. But I'll some put some pictures on the screen here. You let me know what you guys think. So let's have a quick look at it. This is the end part. There seems to be no date, but something like 35th generation, which seems a little bit strange. We've got some Kuji. And I think we've got some yin yang stuff there. Um, I'm not quite sure what the... Um, field alignment things there not a problem looking we got what appears to be kuji um and so basically i've took the pictures of the images for you guys not sure there this is where it starts to look a bit interesting and it's like okay it looks too martial artsy and too good so i don't know if this is one of the the 1950s lovers of ninjas who putting this together i'm not sure but um as you can see there's certain elements and this is the scroll itself on Cummins Tartan, I'd like to say. So um, let me know what you think in the comments below. Right, guys, if you'd like to help me with this scroll, and what I mean by that is if you'd like to donate, basically this took up loads of my donations. As I say, it took up quite a lot of money. Um, so hold on a second. So I've just checked it. Um, £700 is $866. So it's cost me $866, guys, on the total whim that this might be real, might not be real, but I weren't letting it, it was like not letting that slip through my fingers. I did that before and let a ninja scroll go. So, um, which I'm not going to do anymore. I'm going to bloody well pay for them. So if you would, uh, there's a pinned link at the top. If you want to donate to try and put some of that money back, that would be amazing. This scroll will eventually get translated, but it's going to take years. We've got to do collections. I've got loads of ninja scrolls that need translating that I've searched for over a decade. But, you know, the main thing is, guys, is, I did that documentary called The Man Who Killed the Ninja. The simple fact is book sales are enough that I can survive and Yoshi gets a decent amount. But it's not enough that everybody's rushing to publish more Ninja Scrolls. In fact, as me and Stephen Ogieri often say, you can't even give this stuff away anymore. It, people just people are just not interested. So, But if you don't want to di donate directly, please get yourself a copy of The Art of War. Every sale from this goes straight into my pocket and it's there, it's on Amazon. So either donate or get a copy of that or one of my other books, whichever one takes your fancy. Right guys, but well, there you go. Another Ninja Scroll to the collection. I actually added up the amount of Ninja Scrolls I've got now and full Ninja Scrolls, full, not copies, not like Bansen Shukai 1, Bansen Shukai 2, Bansen Shukai 3, just one copy of each. Like I've got six Mizukagami copies. Um, oh, by the way, this is not physical Ninja Scrolls. I mean Ninja Scrolls I photographed or own. I own about... 
five Ninja Scrolls, six Ninja Scrolls maybe, seven originals, but actual copies of Ninja Scrolls ready to be translated, about 50. Okay, I've got about 50 Ninja Scrolls. So uh, it's a lot of material to put out there, but we just need to make ninjas popular again. They're just not as popular. If they were spinning off the shelves like hotcakes, we'd have translators knocking, banging on my door to get it done. So keep, keep pushing the information about guys. There you go. What do you think? Comments below.